A lot of people uh, commonly say things like this. I would never buy a car from China. That's why I bought an electric BMW. They're not Chinese. They're German. I'm telling you, they're German. Well, no, that's not entirely true. Many of the cars that you think or that some people think are German or British or French are in fact not at all. They're very much Chinese. Here are some of the cars that many people mistakenly believe are German or prestige or European or something else when they're actually not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, of course, most people are aware that more than 50% of Teslas sold worldwide are made in China. Uh, obviously, Tesla vehicles sold in Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia, and many other places around the world, including Europe, are made in China. Yes, Tesla do make the Tesla Model Y for the European market in Germany, but the Model 3 is made in China. Most people are already aware of that. Tesla doesn't try and hide that, so that's probably no, no surprise. Of course, the Model Y is made in right-hand drive in China for all right-hand drive markets worldwide. What many people don't realize, though, is that Polestar, which is kind of marketed as a premium Swedish brand, sister brand to Volvo, it's really not Swedish. I mean, Volvo itself is more of a Swedish company. Well, that's debatable than Polestar, that's for sure. The Polestar 2, which is actually quite a compelling electric car and i believe it's actually the longest range ev you can currently buy in australia it's well you, you could be forgiven for thinking that it's european however the company actually manufactured the polestar 2 and in fact all of its evs all polestar evs are made in china now reviewers and critics say that the polestar 2 is made extremely well to a very very high quality level they say the aura of Scandinavian sophistication hangs heavy over the Polestar 2, regardless of the fact that it comes from China. China has a huge uptake of electric vehicles and is the single largest emerging consumer market on the planet. So it's not surprising that Polestar chose to build it um, in a place where it was cheaper. And of course, its parent company, Geely, most of their operations are in China as well. In fact, Pretty much every single part in the Polestar 2 is made in China. Next, this is a surprising one. The BMW iX3. The new version of the iX3 is actually a pretty decent car. The older version, eh, not so much. The newer one, well, I would probably consider it if I was in the market for something like this. But I did just read some very condescending comments on some Australian EB forums of people kind of putting down Tesla owners saying, you just bought a Chinese car, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't stoop so low. Unaware that in fact, the BMW iX3 they just bought was also made in China. Yes, it's true. BMW in fact makes more EVs in China than it does anywhere else in the world. The electrified X3, the iX3 is sourced from China for many places around the world, including Australia. The key reason why many countries around the world get the iX3 from China and not a European version is because, well, it's much cheaper to make in China. The iX3 retails, well, used to retail at $115,000. It's now much cheaper than that. That's in Australian dollars. But as a result of massive competition, BMW has been able to reduce the price down by 20% since this vehicle first came out. And the key reason, like I said, it's made in China. Now, most people believe that internal combustion engine versions of Volvo cars come from Sweden. In fact, quite a number of them don't, even though the majority of Volvo's electric cars are made in China, and that's probably pretty common news, I think, at least. Now, many of their internal combustion engine vehicles also come from China as well. The Volvo XC60, that comes from China, as does the Volvo XC40. So does the XC40 Recharge, which is the plug-in hybrid version of the XC40, and the new Volvo EX30, which is Volvo's essential global electric car. 
It's actually up for an award at the moment for the best car in Europe. But of course, even the European version, that's not built in Europe. It's also built in China. In fact, all EX30 sold worldwide right now are made in China. Now, eventually that will change as Volvo are building a factory to make EVs in Slovakia. And Volvo said that in 2026, it will be EV only in many places around the world, including Europe and Australia. And in 2030, it will be EV only globally. The Volvo EX30 uses the SEA platform, which was designed by parent company Geely, of course, a Chinese multinational. Shandong Geely Sunwider power battery plants supply the lithium, nickel, manganese, and cobalt battery pack. Vindi e-mobility technology in China supplies the electric motors, and the car is manufactured at Geely's Zhejiang Haoqing plant in China as well. I'm sure I got the pronunciation wrong, but anyway, you get my point. Now, that's the same factory that makes the Smart number one. A lot of people think Smart EVs are Mercedes-Benz EVs, but actually, Geely own a percentage of that joint venture with Mercedes, and Smart EVs are now made in China as well. Now, this is one that many people, especially thousands of people in Europe, get wrong. Many people in Europe still believe that MG is a British brand. It is certainly not. In fact, MG vehicles have all been built in China since Chinese parent company, SAIC or SAIC, which is a company that is part owned by the Chinese government and Alibaba, purchased the company in 2009. So the MG4 EV that we all know and is very popular at the moment, and in fact, all MG electric cars are made in China. Is that a bad thing? Well, not necessarily. I mean, it does mean the price is quite low. Of course, there are some maybe little shortcuts taken here and there. In fact, almost certainly there are, but it's still a very good car for the money. Another car that people consistently get wrong thinking that it's French is the Dacia Spring or the Renault Spring. Dacia is a brand owned by Renault. It's essentially known in France as the Renault Spring. The Dacia Spring is the cheapest electric car in Europe. It costs around about 15,500 euros or around about just over 16,000 US dollars. It's very cheap. Of course, in Europe, people think it's French. They think, therefore, it must be made in France, but it's not. It's made in China. It's one of the best-selling EVs in Europe. And, of course, there's probably a lot of people thinking, I just bought a French car, when, in fact, they didn't. They bought a Chinese car. In terms of the Dacia Spring, what, is, what are people getting for their money? This is the cheapest EV in Europe. Well, yeah, people would say it's a little underpowered. It's certainly not light. It weighs nearly one and a half tons, and it has a 30-kilowatt motor. That's around 44 horsepower. Charging speed is not that quick. It's got a 30 kilowatt DC charging ability and it's got a 7.4 kilowatt AC charger. Now, thanks to its prodigious torque of 125 newton meters, it'll hit a top speed of 126 kilometers an hour. Now, range of the car is actually not that bad. Its range is 225 kilometers from its lithium 26.8 kilowatt hour battery. It doesn't use LFP. I believe it's an NMC battery. So as you can see, there are many cars made in China. And before you or you know one of your friends start saying, oh, I didn't buy a Chinese electric car, maybe just make them double check that they're actually correct on that. Because a lot of vehicles, not just EVs, but also internal combustion engine, gasoline, diesel powered vehicles are made in China today. And if they're not, many of them are simply made in China and then assembled in a different country as is the case for actually many german made vehicles that's the key reason why the ceo of mercedes has been trying to get the european union not to put sanctions on chinese vehicles let me know your thoughts in the comments thank you for watching